Node is basically a logical processing unit. In simple terms, nodes are like processes. Uh, the process where the jobs are executed. Uh, I mean, they actually represent the resources. So, yeah, so this these nodes are basically useful for balancing the load, load balancing and performance uh, issues because uh, once we have like heavy data the data need to be balanced on every node so that the performance is not decreased performance of the data state job is not decreased so this is where the node is like really comes into place because i said that performance increases it doesn't mean that most i mean we can go for like 10 10 nodes or 20 nodes because that doesn't make sense we need to choose an optimal number of nodes uh, I mean you can go for multiple nodes but they need to be have uh, I mean they they need to have like underlying system which supports these many number of nodes you can go for 10 nodes but you need to have an your project and your uh, company needs to have an underlying system so that it doesn't really uh, affect the performance when you run on even 10 nodes so optimal number of nodes is, uh, is the best thing to do uh, so this nodal information and all other stuff is, uh, is stored in the configuration file. It's called apt config file. Uh, this apt config file represents the degree of parallelism. So for the nodal, uh, for the nodes information, I thought uh, I'd give pictorial representation for better understanding. So in server jobs, as I said, there is only a single, there is only single node. So the source is directly flowing from uh, source is directly flowing through uh, through the node to the target so there is only one single node right whereas in parallel jobs we need to handle huge volume of data there might be like 10 million records sometime like 40 million records it depends on the uh, volume of data you get on the daily basis so these parallel jobs basically have multiple nodes see uh, I have like uh, I have chosen four nodes so they have much so the data from the source is flown to the target through these four nodes so based on the partitioning techniques and uh, other other stuff which i'll be dealing in the future uh, pretty soon so the data is passed into the nodes we need to choose like what data needs to be passed through the each node and everything comes in, uh, everything passes through that and then uh, comes to the target so obviously uh, I mean to be to make it more simpler uh, yeah I can come up with an example like take a highway or a freeway so they have if they have a single lane obviously they have huge traffic and a lot of mess right but when they make it like multiple lanes obviously the traffic may a uh, traffic is less and the people are happy and there are lot I mean it's pretty pretty cool right so yeah that is that is exactly what's happening so to enhance the performance and decrease the time uh, they introduce this multi node concept uh, which is called otherwise called parallelism so as i said uh, the the nodal information all of the stuff is stored in configuration file it is it's also called apt config file it's basically the master control file which sits on the server it has all I mean this file has all info about the parallel system resources and the data stage architecture as I said earlier it describes a degree of parallelism so if someone asks what do you mean by configuration file you can just say it as it, it denotes a degree of parallelism and this is the path where uh, config I mean they, where the apt config file is uh, seen uh, it's in uh, I mean my version is 8.5 so you, I have this uh, I have apt config file stored in this path and the other important thing is that the biggest advantage in fact the strengths about the data stage is that if we have like changed uh, the processing the way we process the data or any the, any servers or any platform that we are working on we need not really worry about it affecting the jobs that is already de already existing data state jobs because if we have anything changed we can just update the configuration file or we can just have new configuration file and everything falls into place once you have configuration file because this config because all the data state jobs 
uh, dependent on this configuration file for its execution because I said it has whole architecture right it defines whole architecture so it makes sense right so yeah and the other thing importantly asked in most of the interviews either one or you can expect either one or more questions on this is the structure of config file so the, uh, the config file has basically four important things one is the fast name uh, which is like the physical node name uh, physical node name and the path of the server on which this node is present and uh, other thing is pool pools are bas uh, basically allow us to associate different processing nodes based on their functions and characteristics uh, functions and characteristics in the sense uh, some by default the pool has like two inverted commas but some uh, in some instances they have a pool represented as sort or db2 or many other things uh, I mean uh, for example if you take sort that means that a default node is associated uh, for sorting I mean this node will ensure that the sort stage will run on this node so that's like a uh, specific node uh, function and uh, resource disk it's like uh, basically temporary storage uh, temporary to I mean actual I'm sorry it's actual memory where all the data sets are created data sets are uh, data set is one of the stages in the parallel stage uh, I'll I'll get into it uh, pretty soon so yeah all the data sets are basically created in the resource disk resource crash disk it's like a temporary memory all the all the things happening on the data stage I mean all the process happening on the data stage they need to be some background right they create some files and every process has its own way of uh, functioning right so that's where all these files are stored in the resource scratch disk so here's how uh, your configuration file looks like uh, as I said it's first one is like node or node name and the fast name so basically the physical uh, node name one can give they can have anything and the pool the first node has like default pool represented by two inverted commas and the path of the uh, resource disk has the path of the uh, file where uh, this data sets are created and the resource crash disk where other files other temporary files are created uh, node 2 is pretty much same except if you have noticed uh, there is pools uh, there is sort so this sort uh, as I was talking in my previous slide represent that all the sorting stuff uh, in the sort stage goes through this node so yeah so this is basically uh, how this node functions and uh, yeah now coming to the table definitions we can have like uh, because once we need once we need data right it's it's data stage so we need to be deal uh, we need to be dealing with data so, so to work with the data the data should be defined so in order for the data to should be defined we need to have metadata and all that stuff so the way we define and the way we store is the table definition stuff it is very important uh, for the project because we need to define the data what what is uh, what is required based on the based on our requirements and our business requirements all the table definitions are stored in repository not only table definitions jobs uh, I mean table definitions and parameter sets everything is stored in a repository I'll, I'll show you uh, what repository looks like and where are the table definitions stored and how to create table definitions very soon and there are other several types of ta uh, table definitions like most importantly there are plugin sequential ODBC and many others so once you log on to the data stage the designer client it gonna look like this this is called repository as I said the jobs and table definitions and parameter sets everything is stored in repository uh, if you remember this repository from 8.5 is a database type repository so yeah it's not file based it's X meta database so and this is palette it's not uh, you have not seen any stages because I didn't choose any type of which type of job I need so uh, once I if I check the server job if I click the server job then automatically all the stages present in the server job are shown in palette and this is called canvas 
if it's server uh, this is server designer canvas basically so this is this is the place where we design our jobs so because we are talking about table definitions if you see here you can see the table definitions and mul multiple uh, folders don't worry about that if you want to create a table definition so just right click on it and go to import table definition and choose any type of table definition if you need to create a table definition from the database then you need to go for plugin metadata definition once you click on that uh, the other way to create table definition is excuse me is you can just uh, go to import and table definitions and then click on metadata definitions it doesn't really matter it's another way of doing it so once this opens you can just go for which uh, type of table I mean which what type is your database mine is Oracle so I gonna click on this and then click OK so it's gonna ask my database name so my database name is Oracle with username Scott sorry and the password for my database so once I click on once I grew all the credentials I'm sorry once I give all the credentials it this shows all the things all the owners or all the tables present in that once I select a schema I'm sorry it shows all the schemas present in a database and if I select a schema HR it should it gonna show all the tables present in that so I want to choose all all the tables I want to create all the table definitions so I gonna just click on import and yeah and uh, because they were already existing it's asking me if I can overwrite so yeah I need to overwrite everything so this is what I do and once you have uh, the table definitions created you can just go for plugin and see all the things have uh, we have all imported this so uh, when we click on this it's gonna show what type of database and what type of everything all the info so in this uh, countries uh, countries that a table we have columns and the data type and everything like so this is how we import data for the database and I'm sorry friends I forgot to tell you before you need to Im before importing the table definitions for a database the database need to be configured and that's the that's the thing which your administrator does so yeah and um, if you want to create a uh, table definitions other than database then uh, I have uh, I have created a text file with this data basic basic data so it's a comma delimiter file because the delimiter is like thing which separates uh, separates the fields so it's a comma separated delimiter file and if I go here and then click on table definition and then go for sequential because this is file definition right and then choose uh, the folder which in which your file is created once you select the folder you have the file and then click on import and because it's not a fixed width right because we have various widths so don't click on this uh, and my ha uh, and I have the first column names right so I'm clicking on this and it's a comma delimiter so not a problem then go to this this thing and you have this right so this is what we are looking for then click OK so this is how you import the sequential file then close it